Today we're looking at the mineral chromite. Um, this is found in a lot of magmatic systems and it's the light gray mineral that we see in this slide. Uh, it's a cubic mineral um, and as you can see as I spin the slide that it's not changing in color so it's non-pleochroic. Um, as we switch into cross polars, we see there's not very much light coming off of them. That's because these are isotropic minerals. And of course, they're not changing as I rotate this slide either. Sometimes in cross polars, we might see internal reflections with this mineral, and they'll be like a darker brown sort of color, um, but we don't see it in our particular sample here. Um, so again, it's a uh, chromite is a uh, non-pleochroic isotropic mineral and it's also quite hard so especially as we um, zoom in a little bit and refocus and see that it's standing above um, the other minerals in this slide um, and that's due to its hardness another way to identify it is it's uh, quite well formed crystals um, that are one of the more distinctive things about it uh, again, as we rotate the slide and then switch into cross polars, we see that it is non-pleochroic, uh, that is, it's not changing color as we rotate the slide, and it's also isotropic, so <clears throat> we're not seeing very much uh, reflectance in cross polars or changes uh, in, the, uh, in the color as we rotate the slide. Um, the, they might, we might see a little bit of brown internal reflections, maybe in the very central one, though it's not very distinctive. Um, that, but that is something that can help us identify chromite in other slides. So we'll move to other parts of the slide. You can see that they're pretty well formed uh, crystals and uh, have a fairly interlocking uh, structure. Again, as we rotate the slide, it's not changing colors. This is because it's got a cubic crystal structure, so the light doesn't really change direction as it enters the crystal structure. Um, and it's showing that just the color is that a gray, sometimes it can be a brownish gray color. And again, in cross polars, uh, we're not seeing any reflectance off the sample because it's isotropic. And again, that's because it has that cubic crystal structure. So the light doesn't change, uh, change speed as it enters different areas in the crystal. Um, one other thing we don't see with chromite is uh, it tends not to have any twinning present. Um, and yeah, it's a hard mineral. It's got a fairly uh, gray color, sometimes a little bit brownish. And again, it's uh, non-pleochroic and it's isotropic, so it doesn't change color in plain polarized light. And when we switch to cross polars, uh, there's no light coming off uh, because it's isotropic. So we'll keep cycling through a few views of these so you can compare it with your own samples. And we'll shortly switch uh, and look at another similar sample uh, and we'll see the same sorts of properties. All right, here we are on the next sample, very similar looking crystals, still this uh, gray uh, color. Sometimes it can be a little bit brown. Uh, we're not seeing uh, any change still as we rotate the stage because it's non-pleochroic. It's standing above some of the other minerals there because it's a very hard mineral. And when we switch it into cross polars, we see that it's isotropic, so it's not reflecting any light off of it. Again, sometimes there might be some internal reflections here, but we don't see it in our particular sample. So we'll keep uh, changing areas on the slide and zoom in a little bit, and we'll see very similar properties. <laughs> 